let's start sitting down and see where we go from our seated position. So come into your cross-legged position to start with. But then remember that we're creatures of habit, so switch it around because sometimes sciatica develops because you do that habitual thing over and over and over. And then things get twisted around and they are not as releasable once you repetitively stress them. So make sure that whenever you're getting in and out of cars or chairs or desks or wherever you're seated, that you make sure you're changing it up from time to time. And then just lengthen through your spine, get the core active, supporting your lower back, shoulders back and down, ground toward the ceiling. And just take a moment to focus inward, as we always do, getting into that yoga frame of reference. Think about breathing in energy and awareness. And as you exhale, release stress and tension and any discomfort. And then we'll inhale, and as you exhale, round forward, bringing your shoulders down, let the back of your body get a good stretch. Keep kind of lifting through the lower ribs so you're lengthening through that lower back area. And then as you inhale, keep lengthening and lift your heart to the front as you look up, a little back bend, especially in that upper back. And a few times through that, exhaling, rounding forward. Inhaling up and just lengthen through the whole spine as you're working. Keep the shoulder blades going down, shoulders away from your ears. And just exhale and inhale, letting that spine lengthen both at the front and the back. And then come back upright, round toward the ceiling. Switch your legs around. Hands cupped on your knees. Again, ribs back, come forward. Bring your forehead down toward the floor, keeping lengthening through the back of your body. And then we're gonna circle. So bring your body over to the side and then to the back, lifting your heart. And then exhaling over to the other side and back to the front. So it's the inhalation going toward the back as you expand through the heart. And it's an exhalation as you crunch things slightly together as you come forward. And just slowly rotate through your range of motion, being gentle where you need to, breathing with it. And then the next time you come to the front, pause and we'll reverse the circle. So again, inhaling to the back, lifting your heart, exhaling, rounding down to the front. And just slowly going through that range of motion, feeling this hip pelvis area, especially as you're doing that. Because remember, where your attention goes, that's where the energy focuses. And the most benefit will come if you've got some issue that you're working on during the day. And then just once more around your circuit. And as you come again to the front, just pause and lengthen. Sitting bones back, crown forward, chest lifting, and come back up to your seated position. As you get back there, just feel that circulation through your spine, especially in that low back area. And then focus on your ribs. Now let's switch the legs again. And then focus on your ribs. So sitting bones a little behind you, spine stacked, supporting your shoulders, relaxing back and down, and then bring the ribs in circles. So back and front, side to side. And just see if you can do that without too much motion through the shoulders and the upper part of your body. Just focusing in that lower back area, you're getting a little more circulation there as much as you can. If it hurts, of course, don't do it. Just be gentle. And then stop and go the opposite way with your ribs.
Feel what's going on and breathe. And then back to the center. And again, just stacking your spine, noticing what your body is telling you. Lift your knees, bring your legs out to the front. Press into staff position, heels out, toes pulling back. Bring your hands to your side and bring the arms up, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders and clasp them. Bring your arms by your ears. Keep the sitting bones planted and lean to one side. Push that sitting bone you're leaning away from down. See how that works today. Make sure you're still facing the front, not twisting. And then inhale back up, keep your shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front. Again, lengthen up arms by your ears, everything forward as you lean to the other side. And again, push the sitting bone, you're leaning away from down a little bit more. See what that does to that lower back area. And then back to the center and release your arms back to your sides. Take a moment there and breathe. Bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you, core active, stack up through the spine, and then slowly round down. So come very slowly onto your lower back. Pause there. Get good lengthening through your spine as you're doing it. Going down onto your show, uh, lower ribs, and then onto your shoulder blades, and finally your shoulders. And take a moment, recline integration. We're going to do a few twists in that lower back area. So the first one we're going to do is that chiropractic twist. So this one is really intense in the low back. And if your sciatica keeps bothering you during the rest of the day, one thing you can do is do this on the edge of the bed and actually push your knee all the way over to the side or on the couch. Push the knee all the way over to the side and really emphasize that low back area. That sometimes helps get things into place. So bring your hands to T position, palms up. Push your sitting bones slightly toward the heel and press your back down. Bend your right leg, put the foot on the left thigh. Roll all the way over onto your left side. Knee all the way to the floor as much as you can. And head on the floor. Bring your hands together in front of you, getting everything onto your left side. Take your left hand onto that right knee, right arm coming right above you, palm open. And let that right arm go shoulder level down toward the floor with the palm up toward the ceiling. So remember, don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back, getting that middle back into the twist. Keep your knee as far toward the floor as you can for that lower back area to get a good stretch and twist. So the more you work that low back area, just breathe into it. Exhale, tension. Push the hand away from you. Keep your head turning for that neck area twist as well. But really work on focus in that lower back. If it's bothering you too much, of course, don't let the knee go all the way down yet. Just Gradually let gravity bring it into it. Always honor your body. If it hurts like pain, don't go there. If it hurts like release, that's okay. Just let it happen. Don't force it. Take a breath. So remember, your arm may be up in the air. That's okay. Just let it go only as far as it needs to, and then let gravity do the work as you relax. The longer you hold your positions, remember, the more the work your body is doing and releasing if you're relaxing. So just keep breathing, emphasizing those exhalations so ligaments will release, just allowing things to happen in your body as your day goes. Breathing, relaxing, letting it happen. And then for now, just release that knee, roll onto your back, foot next to the other leg and slide it down. Take a moment there, observing how your body feels as it gets back into that starting position. And of course, we're going to balance the body and do it the other way. So usually there's one side that's going to be more emphatically affected by the sciatica. So just be aware 
in knowing where you need to be more gentle and just honor your body. So again, press the back down, sitting by slightly toward your heel, bending the left leg, foot to the right thigh, rolling all the way to the right side. Hands together, head on the floor, and knee down. Remember, you can uh, excuse me, pad anywhere you need to as you come onto your side. Take your right hand on the knee, hold it down as much as you can, and the left hand up right above your shoulder. Keep looking at it as you lower right at shoulder level behind you into your twist. And again, breathe. Relaxing, turn your head for that neck area as much as is right for you. Hold the knee down as much as feels okay, and just let the arm gradually come toward the floor, letting gravity pull you into your twist on this side. And again, deep breath. Just relaxing, letting that whole shoulder area be open for that middle back twist. Knee down toward the floor for that lower back area, getting its work done. Just gently as you relax. Remember, no forcing, just allowing everything, just breathing your hip, exhaling tension, just incrementally increasing as your body is ready to go deeper into the position. And of course, when you try these things later, emphasizing that knee going down, the more you relax into it and the longer you hold it, the more effective these twists are. So just breathe again, just relaxing, letting things go. And then again, when we're ready to release, just let go of the knee, roll onto the back, straighten things out as you slide the leg back down near the other one. Bring your hands near your hips, palms up, Take a moment there, recline integration. Exhale, tension, just press that back down, maybe a little bit more, slide those sitting bones towards your heels, shoulders relaxing down. And then bend your knees, draw the heels in near your sitting bones, knees straight up. So remember a little roll in at the top of the thigh to keep things aligned with the knees up not spreading apart. And then press your back down as you exhale. And then as you inhale, lift the ribs, sitting bones down so you get that space under your back, strengthening that lower back as much as you can. If that pain is too emphatic, just be gentle. This is a physical therapy back strengthener and it will help get things more aligned and balanced for you as you go through that range of motion. Exhale and pressing down, feeling that core contract a little, inhaling, lifting the legs. And just back and forth through that range of motion, gently or emphatically, depending on how you're feeling today. And then release and relax, come back to that neutral position with your spine. And then press it down a little bit more, sitting bones toward your heels. Keep those knees straight up, remember. And lift your right leg, put the ankle above the left knee. So we're going to, this is the special sciatica one. So it's supposed to be really effective. So press away with your hand on that knee. If that's enough, stay there. If you want a little bit more, Lift your left foot, put your hand behind the left side and pull it in while your right hand is pushing the knee away. So just as deeply or as gently as your body needs today, just allow that to happen. You can move your head around, getting your neck releasing because the whole spine is probably tense when you're in that pain mode. So just let everything relax as much as you can. Pull in, push out at the same time. Pulling in with the left leg, pushing out with the right. As much or as little as you need. You don't even need to do your hands if that feels like that's too much for you. You can just gently do it with your intention in your mind. Breathing, relaxing, deepening it as much or as little as your body is willing to do today. Take a breath, really relax. And then if your foot is up, 
bring it down, and then bring your right leg straight up toward the ceiling, straighten that leg out, and flex the heel, bring it back down to the floor, sitting heel next to your sitting bone. Knees both straight up. Feel the difference on the two sides. So, you know, we've got to balance the body as always. So again, press the back down and bring your left leg up. Stretch it out, press the back down, bring your left ankle to the right, above the right knee. Left hand on the knee this time, just press it gently away. If that's enough, stay there. If you want more, lift the right foot, bring the right hand behind the leg and pull it in. So again, only as much or as little as your body is needing today. Remember to be in your personal practice, doing what's right for your body. Take a breath, just relax. Let it happen. Don't force anything going too far. But if it wants to go a little further incrementally as we go through the breathing and the relaxation, just go ahead pulling in and pushing out as appropriate for you. Take a breath, just relax, let it happen. Again, you can move your head around to release any stress in the shoulders and the neck. Shoulders kind of going toward the neck. Deep breaths, always emphasizing those exhalations, letting things release a little bit more. Breathing in, deepening. Letting your awareness go to the area that needs awareness and attention. And when you're ready to release again, just bring your foot to the floor if it's up, releasing your hands. Turn that knee to the center and bring the left leg up, flex the heel, press the back down, bend the knee, bring that heel in back near your sitting bones. And again, as you get back into that position, just take a moment to release and relax everything. Push the sitting bones a little further toward your heels. Bring the feet up. Draw your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Bring your head up toward your knee. Give yourself a good stretch through that whole lower back area as much or as little as your body wants to do right now. Take a breath. Exhale. Draw in as much as feels good for you. And then head to the floor, feet back to the mat, arms out to T position for another twist. So we're going to start gentle. So sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, feet up off the floor, knees next to each other, right above your hips. We're going to roll to the side with the knees and turn your head to the opposite side, coming into that twist. And again, your hands on this one can be up or down, palms up or down, whichever makes your shoulders more released. And just relax, letting those knees go toward the floor. If they don't make it all the way, you can keep the feet on the floor. You can put a pad under those knees if you need to today. Take a breath. Exhale in tension. And then heels toward your hips. Roll onto your back. Straighten things out. You can bring the feet to the floor if you need to. Now we're going to twist the other way. So knees to the hip level on the opposite side. Turn your head over toward the opposite arm. And again, just relax into that twist on this side. Breathing. Exhaling any tension. Releasing any tightness. Just deepening as far on this side as your body wants to go. And remember, personal practice, doing what's right for you, allowing your body just to release into its twist on this side. And again, bringing your heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, feet to the floor, straighten things out. We're going to increment that just a little if you want to, otherwise stick with the version that we just did. So once again, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Feet up off the floor, knees next to each other, and right above your hips. Roll again over to the side with those knees, right at hip level, turning your head to the opposite side. 
Turn your hands, palms down, stabilize your shoulders a little bit more. Stay there. Or if you want a little bit more emphatic work in that lower back, bring your knees up towards your elbow. Take a breath. Relaxing. Just let it happen. Don't force it. You can keep the feet on the floor if that helps. Or you can put padding under them if you need to. Just maximize or minimize. Remember whatever's right for your body. Deep breath. Exhale tension. And then bring your heels back toward your hips. Roll onto your back. And come back into the center, feet to the floor, straighten things out again. And once again, sitting rounds toward your heels, shoulders down, and feet up off the floor, knees above the hips. Roll the knees hip level toward the opposite side. And again, turn your head toward that arm behind you, hands palms down to stabilize maybe a little bit more if you want to go a step further. As you relax into this, you can bring your knees up toward the elbow, giving a little bit more work through that stretch in the lower back. So breathe into it. Exhale and relax. Do what's right for your body. Remember always that personal practice. Deep breathing. Exhale and tension. Let everything go. And then heels toward your hips. And again, roll onto your back. Run your feet to the floor. Let everything straighten out and relax. Stretch your legs out. Allow your whole body just to release and relax. Hands, palms up for a moment. Shoulders relaxing. We're going to go incrementally one more step on that same twist. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, heels in toward your hips, feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Keep those knees straight up, don't let them spread apart. And again, turn your hands, palms down, shoulders, shoulder blades to the mat, press the back down, feet up off the floor, and knees together. One more time, roll the knees over at hip level, turning your head toward the arm behind you. Again, deepen into your twist here as much as you'd like. Exhale in tension, just relaxing, sticking with this level if that's enough for you. We're going to level two, bringing those knees up further toward the elbow. Again, you can keep the feet right there on the floor, or you can just let them relax and hang. Or if you want a little bit more, you can extend the legs out bringing those feet next to your hand. That's going to be a little bit more emphatic in that low back area. So of course, don't go there if we're not ready to do what's right always for your body. Just breathe. Exhale tension. Just let things release and relax. Always, whichever level you're at, just be breathing. Exhaling incrementally maybe going a little bit further stretch those toes away if that's working for you and your legs are straight or not always just wherever your body needs to be and when you're ready to release this side tuck those heels back toward your hips again wherever you are roll onto your back and again straighten things out bringing the feet to the floor the low back down Hands, palms down, straight out from your shoulders. Stretch it out, sitting bones towards your heels. And again, knees together, coming up right above your hips with the feet off the floor and rolling to the opposite side. And again, just relax into that twist as much or little as your body wants to do. Turn your head toward the opposite side. Take a few breaths there and relax into that twist. If you need that low back working a little bit more on this side, you can bring that knees up toward the elbow. Feel that stretch apart through the bones of your back. Remember, anytime you're going into the twist, 
you want those bones separating so that they can twist a little deeper if they want to. So go as far as your body is willing to go. Breathing, relaxing. And again, if that's feeling that that's comfortable for you and you want even more, you can straighten those legs out, bringing your feet up toward your hand. Take a breath. Exhale and relax wherever you are in that twist. Letting your twist happen, not forcing anything. And if you're ready to stretch those toes even further away, you can do that as well. Breathing, shoulders down, body deepening into your twist only as much as it wants to go today. Exhale, tension, just relaxing. And again, allow your body to go where it needs to. Don't force anything. And again, when you're ready to release this twist, bring your heels back toward your hips first. Roll onto your back. And again, bring the feet to the floor and let that lower back area straighten out as much as it wants to. And again, we're going to just slide those legs out and allow the body to Come into corpse position for a little reclined integration. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Just relax your whole body. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that lower back area, letting it soften and sink. And we're going to incrementally do one more twist that's similar to the ones we've just been doing, but it's going to be more emphatic. So again, go back to one of the previous versions if you've already had an intensity that was enough. Arms to T position, sitting bones toward your heels, bending your knees, heels in by your hips, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up. Slide that low back down, pressing into the floor, feet up off the floor, and knees right above your hips. Stay there if that's where you want to be, or cross your leg over the other one so that you'll get even more low back stretch as you go into this twist. And then roll the knees over toward the opposite side and turn your head toward the arm behind you. And again, allow that knee to go as much toward the floor as your lower back wants it to. The more it goes, the more that low back stretches apart, shoulders down. You can turn your hands, palms down again to stabilize those shoulders and press them down toward the floor. And turning for that neck twist, Knees going toward the side for that low back twist. And shoulders staying down for that middle back twist. Again, just deepen as much or as little as your body wants to go. You can be in first, second, third, or this incredibly tighter position, whichever one works best for your body. And again, to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. If you cross your legs and cross, bring the feet to the floor and straighten things out so we can twist the other direction. And again, pushing your head, sitting bones toward your heels and your back down, feet up off the floor with the knees above your hips. Staying there if you are not crossing or crossing the leg over the other direction and rolling at hip level over toward the floor. Head turning toward the opposite side again, press those shoulders as down toward the floor as they want to be for that middle back twist. Head turning for the neck twist and knee coming toward the floor for that intense low back twist. Only go there if that's right for your body, remember. Otherwise, keep those knees next to each other. Take a breath. Keep emphasizing those exhalations always in the twist. That lets the ligaments release even more, allowing your body incrementally to deepen its twist. Exhale, any tension just let your body soften and sink. And of course, hold longer when you're able to, but for now, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, uncrossing your leg, feet to the floor. And straighten everything out as you slide those legs down. Feet next to each other, palms up at your sides. Take a moment in corpse position, reclined integration. If you'd like to roll over onto resting crocodile, 
or scoot up into child's pose for the relaxation, getting even more stretch through that lower back. Feel free to do that for our relaxation today. So go ahead into your position. Just let those hands sink into the surface beneath you. Let the earth support you in whatever position you're in. Take a breath, exhale. And if you're in crocodile position, head to one side, but don't forget to turn your head to the opposite side for that next stretch. If you're in child's pose, just let that forehead come toward the floor, pad under it if you need to. Or if you're in a corpse position, which I am because it's easier to talk, just let your body sink and grow heavy and deepen into its surface beneath you. And wherever you are, just let that surface of Mother Earth support you as she always does. And let your awareness of your body go. Let it soften and sink and grow heavy. Just letting that lower back get a little bit more stretch as you're able to. Deep breaths, exhale and tension. Letting your body release from your awareness. Now that other thoughts will come to you, just let those thoughts go as well. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. This moment, as much as you can, ignore any discomfort. Release any content of the thoughts. Allow your body to soften and sink deeper into the earth embrace. And allow your mind to just float freely without awareness of the content. Letting your awareness release your body and your mind, focusing inward, finding that peace within. Feel your body, feel your mind, just being peace. And if you can keep relaxing even longer today, feel free to do so as long as you have an opportunity. It's time to prepare for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you. Kind of roll your lower back area around, giving yourself a little massage one way and the other way. And bringing your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your heart if you're on your back. Just give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, letting that, that get a good stretch. And then we roll in circles one way and the other way, letting yourself get a little massage through that lower back. If you're in child's pose, you can do the same thing with the sitting bones up toward the ceiling. And then bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, whatever position you're in, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Hope that helped your well back. And thanks for joining me.